Hi, my name is Frank Valencic and welcome to our Advantage Property Update. We're looking today at the changes uh, that have been brought about through the Federal Government's budget and how they'll affect the property market. The first one was the introduction of a first homeowner super saver scheme where they can tap into their superannuation and uh, basically use some salary sacrificing to save up to $30,000 in these accounts, which will help them get their first deposit for their first property. Second change was that downsizers will be able to sell their properties and put in $300,000 uh, into their superannuation without any restrictions. Other changes that have been brought about uh, by the federal government's budget include depreciation uh, being cancelled for investors if they haven't incurred the expenses themselves. So this will be a major change because if you buy a property there that's already been renovated over the years or is three or five years old, no depreciation allowances will be allowed for investors. The good news though for investors was that a lot of uh, the perks stayed. So negative gearing is still there, which is a big advantage. Uh, there's been no changes to the capital gains tax uh, amounts and also for principal place of residence there's been no changes to them being tax exempt. So that's my rundown on the federal government's changes. I don't think it's going to affect the property market in many ways uh, that we're going to suddenly see prices fall or prices increase. Um, I think the changes uh, will be accepted by the market and the property market will continue to move on as it has in Melbourne over many years. We'll see you next time.